Today, we are pond hopping, but we are only allowed to throw topwater lures. Topwater fishing is by far the most exciting way to catch a bass. We hit a ton of ponds throughout the day and Tara also ended up catching her PB bass. The whole day was non-stop topwater blow up action, so make sure you stick around till the end of the video. The topwater only day of fishing in a pond. I'm excited about it. We're about to get it started. I got my Kickin' Their Bass TV x Lose Baitcaster combo. If you guys want to check out any of the Kickin' Their Bass combos or even spinning combos, you can check them out, kickintheirbass.com. It'll be linked down below. I have my mock patroller on. If you guys want to get a discount on any of the mock baits, I'll pop that up on the screen. Link will be down below. And uh, I have this patroller in Chrome. It's a very sunny day today. And uh, on sunny days, I like to use Chrome. When it's a little cloudy, I like to use more of a white color. So I think this is going to end up being perfect. So the one thing about the pond that we're at today, we've been catching a lot of fish out of this little small pond recently, but there's a lot of stuff on top of the water. I'm hoping that's not going to give us a problem knowing that we're using treble hooks on this. But uh, let's go ahead and get started and see what we can do today. Hopefully we'll end up catching some giants on top water. I feel like this is going to be a process. A lot of ponds, a lot of pond hopping. I'm just seeing what we can do. I think we're going to be making a lot of casts today. But uh, let's go ahead and get into it. This shady corner looks so good for one to be sitting. I don't know if you guys noticed, but along the banks, you got all this stuff here. So the last couple of days, it has rained a ton and it just flooded. And uh, you can tell that's where the water was sitting last night. It's kind of crazy that this pond got low already. That shade corner over there looks money. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. Oh my gosh. That was a massive boil. He was either already up on the bank or he was coming up to try to eat my bait. Either he was on the bank and I spooked him or that's what he was doing. I'm not sure. That was a big boil though. That was not a small fish. I think I walked up on him to be honest with you. That was bad timing. Horrible timing. That's something that we're gonna have to pay attention to today, especially with the water level changing in the ponds from the last few days. And yeah, that water came up. Some of these bass might be super ultra shallow. And uh, we just missed a little opportunity there. But that's okay, that's our first sign of life. And as I said that, there's a little blow up out here. There's a little spot right here behind me too. I just came up on the bank right here. All right guys, nothing quite yet, but we're gonna keep on moving. Let's get to another pond. All right boys, out here at pond number two. And this is a place that I've hit before about four or five years ago, and I haven't been here since. So that's pretty exciting. I think the last time I freaking hit this place, I was like at 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Now we're about at 800, which is... Tara, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that bite was insane. He actually knocked my bait out of the water. I just wasn't looking. Oh, he came off. He came off. What are we doing? What are we doing? No way. What is going on? I don't think he's gonna hit it again. What in the world? That seemed like a decent one too, didn't it? That seemed like a two and a half pounder, if not three pounds. Well, that's a good sign, guys. Let's let's get it working here. That honestly just spooked me. That was my mistake. So pretty much what happened is my bait, he hit my bait and I wasn't paying attention to it. I was looking somewhere different and my bait just went flying in the air and I hook set. I didn't, I wasn't watching. Then that next cast, I don't know how I missed him. That was just, I have no clue. I don't know, maybe that's a, that's a good sign. That was first cast, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a great sign. Oh, I'm excited about that. That just got me fired up. I just wish we would have caught that fish. 
Maybe, maybe we'll come back and bite you in a sec right there. That fish was aggressive too. It wasn't like he was just biting it, you know? That was a good blow up. Start walking down this bank, a little parallel action. One thing we gotta think about too, that fish was out in the middle. Oh, oh, Tara. Oh, that's a nice one, I think. Oh, he's a big one. He came off. I saw him, that was like a four or five pounder. What is going on? I saw the whole side. I saw the whole side of that fish's body. All oh, these fish might be giant in here now. It's been so long since I fished it. I have had the worst luck, guys, the last two weeks on losing big fish. I don't understand, but I will say is both his bites were out in the middle. He swirled on it at first and then he hit it. It wasn't even a crazy blow up, but I could see the whole side of that fish. That was every bit of a four or five pounder. That's a little one. Not like the last two, but I'll take any bites here right now. Come on, get it started. Or get the skunk off. We're missing those two fish. We just need something to put us on board here. Oh, did you miss him? Yeah. What is going on? Oh, my gosh, huge boy on the bank. That had to have been a carp. <laughs> if that wasn't a carp, that was literally a 15 pound bass, dude. Massive freaking swirl. Yeah, I got one. Uh, feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. It's monstrous, ain't it? Oh my god. This might be your PB. How big is this fish? He's swirling right there. Hey, be careful with him. Keep that pressure. You're doing good. Oh, oh my God. Dude, that, Tara, that's your PB. Tara, that's your PB. It's a hunchback, too. It's a crazy bass. Oh my gosh, Tara. Tara, I don't know if you understand. This is a hunchback, the biggest hunchback bass I've ever seen. That is, look at the mouth on that thing. Oh my gosh, look at this. Tara, that's a mega. I got two hands gripping this puppy. Show <laughs> me the top of his head again. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe Tara just caught her PB. He's a hunchback too, which is so odd. I've never seen a bass th of this caliber. That's a hunchback. All right, Tara's coming back. This fish has been a pain, man. He's strong and he's ready to, he's ready to swim. Six and a half. Oh, 6.56. 6.56, 6. girl. <laughs> That's my PB. That is a freaking monster. Six and a half pounder pushing seven. It's Tara's PB. That is awesome. I've never seen a bass that big. See how he's a hunchback? His, his back's like kind of hunched over. That's so cool. He's a thick boy. Wiggle his tail. There he goes. That's a beast. Gosh, you straight beast. Good job, girl. That was awesome. First fish of the day is your PB. That's why uh, I missed those fish. Just wanted yours to be the, the PB. The PB first fish. Wow. Well, guys, let's get back in here and keep fishing. That's all we can do from here. I'm worn out. I got splashed. Did you see that when I grabbed the fish? And when you were gone grabbing the scale, Tara, guys, you guys it. didn't even see it because my battery died. I dropped the fish and I bear hugged it. Yeah, there was nothing allowing that bass to get in the water. I just like, I literally went like this and like sat my whole body on him. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get back in here and see what else we can catch. We know there's some giants in here. And uh, hopefully we, we can get us another one. I'm not even asking for much more than that right there, but wow, what a fish. All right, guys, my adrenaline's pumping so dang hard. Oh, did you see that blow up in the in the distance? Look, they're, they're schooling, Tara, they're schooling. Yeah. Oh, I barely made it. Hopefully they'll eat it. They're just schooling over there, guys. Let's see if we can get them to come up. Oh, they're schooling on that bank. I just don't know if I can make that cast. Patroller's a little light. Tara, look at them. Make a good whip over there. 
Oh, I made it, but I'm to the left 10 foot. I love how I made it on the bank. I just didn't make that most accurate. Look, you see them? They're still going, Terry. Yep. There we go. I'm in it. I'm in it. That's it, Tara. My heart stopped. Gosh, guys, they are hitting this patroller. They're just not committing. He totally grabbed onto it. He just didn't eat it all the way. Wow. Back to what I was saying. My adrenaline's pumping so dang hard right now just over her fish. <laughs> it's hard for me to even focus up with what I'm doing right now. Oh, ate me right away. Little tiny one. Nothing big, but something's starting me off here. A little tiny dude. Ain't that something? You got these big old monstrous fish in here and then you got these little tiny guys <laughs> all right buddy calm down he's hooked the worst way these are the ones you gotta be careful with i'm gonna just grab you by your mouth okay stop i got i gotta get you off buddy i know well there's my first fish <laughs> it's almost the size of Terra's, you know pretty close pretty guy though beautiful he's really healthy super fat there we go i'm finally on board maybe i'll uh stop missing fish now maybe that was my little breaking point <laughs> now i can start Look setting these bass and keeping them on. What? What? Boys, one just blew up inside of that pipe. I literally heard it. I wish I had a frog. I could skip a frog way up under that pipe. This thing is like, one that's got grass at the end of it here. Look at that, see? I literally heard a bass blow up inside of that thing, like deep. That's pretty crazy. To the bank that they were schooling on earlier guys i was hoping oh yep yeah, big big boil to the left is he coming over to my bait i don't want to come in oh that's a huge carp i see him monster carp talking like 40 pounder he's about right here that's all carp down this bank. Maybe it wasn't, I don't know. I want to say there was bass that were off the bank eating that. There's a carp right there where I'm at. Oh my gosh. That was a carp, that was a carp. That's a good way to mess up your bait. Is <laughs> catching one of those things. That was crazy. There's another carp. Even though I knew that's a carp, it just gets me every time. <laughs> Seeing something like that boil under your bait's insane. Just like makes waves around your bait. There we go. Little tiny one again. Oop, came off. That was no bigger than the last one I caught. So crazy how there can be bass that are that small. And then you catch some so big. That tells me a lot about this pond though. Usually when you're catching some that big and then you catch some that small, there's usually not many fish in between. What I mean by that is most of the fish in this pond are either gonna be super big, like how Tara's were, or they're gonna be really small like how mine was. And that's usually how a lot of these places lay out. It can be uh, caused by, you know, food and not having as much food and all the big ones are eating everything up or all the small ones are eating everything up. You know, that can kind of cause there to not be any medium sized fish in this pond. So guys, this pond connects to the one where you're just fishing. It's a little tiny thing. It's just really a little puddle. There's a boil out, might've been a turtle. Doesn't mean there's no fish in here though. I think there'd be, be a couple. All right, we're gonna go get some water. And then we are gonna hit another spot. I have high hopes. I think we're about to slam today, guys. We're not gonna have a ton of opportunities, but I think we'll have enough to get something crazy going. Guys, I have not fished this pond in my whole career. Oh, there's a boil over there. Could have been a turtle or a carp. I have never been to this pond, like ever. As you guys can tell, like just super blue water. 
kind of odd, but let's try it, man. I'm down to try whatever today after that. All we need is a bite to tell us what we need to know. Oh, this little canal. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. There's a fish, there should be one in this. Oh, there we go. We got one, not a big one, but that is a top water bass. And we know there's bass in this pond. Not a big one, he's a fish. I was about to say, that spot looked too good for there not to be a fish in, if there is fish in here. And he ate it. <laughs> there we go, not a big one, but it's the sign that we need to know. There's bass in here. Let's throw another cast in this little canal. Oh, not a tree. How did I not? <gasps> oh, boom, massive boil. Dude, that was a huge blow up. Look at this, guys. I don't know if you see that. Huge blow up. I had a leaf on here, so I think it might have just spooked him. Hold on, man. If that was a bass, that was a good one. My, maybe I just got the unlucky draw there and caught the small one. Definitely spooked off whatever that was. That was either a big bass or it might have been a cart. Or it could have just been a decent bass in super shallow water. Oh, there we go. Another little tiny one. Hopefully that's not all that lives in here. Probably though. Not gonna spend much time at this pond. Good to know though. We even threw these small ones. Then again, that bit that pond where she caught the big one, you know. I caught the small ones like this. There's like nowhere for these fish to hide in this pond, guys. Like the bites that I've had are odd and obvious shade lines. All right, guys, let's get out of here. I'm just not feeling it. The fish that we saw just weren't big. Let's go ahead and hit somewhere else. All right, guys, pond number four or five, whatever we're at. Never been to this one, too. Kind of got blue water like the last one. Not as, like, toxic looking. Oh, my God. That blow up was crazy. This is just the day of the Twinkie Bass for Noah, I guess. I don't... It's usually, like, I'll catch one of these a video, if that... <laughs> But today, I mean, we're trying new spots. And to be fair, that's a fat bass for the size of them. That blow up was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, let's keep her going. Can't be discouraged by that. I mean, literally think about it, guys. That pond, a terracotta PV in, the fish that I caught were literally that same size. It's like you just never can count it out, you know? Well, there's a huge boil right there. That's what I'm saying. There's, There's got to be some big fish mixed in here. There we go. That feels like a better one. That feels like a better one. He's fighting better. Oh yeah. Not a big one by any means, but better than those last ones. This one's at least a pound. Heck yeah. No more half pound curse, guys. <laughs> We're working our way up the ranks, just like that other video. Caught a dang two pounder, then I caught a three, then I caught a four, then I caught a five, then I caught a seven. So maybe that'd be how today goes. We're just starting off at half a pound. <laughs> Not a bad fish though. Pretty, really healthy actually. Great to see a healthy bass, especially in a pond like this. Thank you, buddy. Thick little body on him. <laughs> Thank you, man. Oh my God, this water is like a sauna, guys. It's like a sauna. I don't think I told you guys either. It is 90, I think it's like 93 degrees out right now. It's ridiculously hot. Like, I'm surprised these fish are buying top water this well. We haven't had that consistent 90 degree weather, so that's probably why. We'll try it for a little bit. If it's just all small ones, we'll just keep moving. I can't complain with catching fish, man, especially on a 90 degree day on top water. Can't complain at all. All the bites I get are fun. Maybe we'll get an occasional monster just like Terrace. <laughs> I'll take that any day. Let's see if we just keep on moving, you know? I think that's gonna be the productive way of us catching some big ones just keep moving all right guys heading to the next spot the spot wasn't horrible we had some bites pretty dang quick but it's not the size we're looking for so we're gonna keep on hunting around whole ball of bait nothing chasing it though a stack of bait right there. Stack of bait right here. There we go. Little tiny guy. 
What is up with me today, man? I'm catch, catching the smallest bass that I've caught all year, all in one day. That's just crazy, man. I just don't understand how I keep getting smaller. I mean, like, what? That's just be one of those days for me. I ain't giving up though, guys. I am not giving up. I'm gonna keep trying. I'll say we just go to that other pond there. All right, guys, pond number 1000. Been here one other time before absolutely smoked them we weren't using top water but this pond is super shallow and i just think oh dude boil right there imagine snorting off we've been waiting so patiently for a bite guys we've been to multiple spots probably that aren't even put in this video it has kind of shut off for us ever since it rained i'm ready to get it started here come on i think we're gonna have some luck i'm feeling it all right guys we're gonna walk deeper into the forest That's a nice one. Oh my god. I don't even think he's that big, Tara. Can't tell. Why? <laughs> he destroyed that. I mean, it's not a bad one at all. It's like a two pounder. Finally, Noah's in the two pounder zone. Now we got a dog barking. That's just amazing. That blow up was intense, Tara. That was the best blow up all day. Heck yeah. Please, no. You're, you're a good boy. See, I'm good with dogs. Oh, no, hey, you're a good boy. No, 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 you're a good boy. Good boy, good boy. Boys, listen. There ain't much to show on this fish. I mean, it's a good two-pounder. Like, like, it's respectable. But listen, that blow-up. Oh, best blow-up all day. And that is a beautiful bass. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you. We're about to get something rolling, guys. I'm so excited about it. I think we're about to get cooking right here. That bite was amazing. Old doggy just wanted to see him at fish. He's a good boy. He ain't going crazy. He, he didn't know what happened. I'm ready for like a sleigh fish. Today has been just a grind, guys. 90 degrees all day. Straight, just hustle. I'm ready to see some good fish. Got one. Oh, that is a good one. Oh, I love seeing him blow up on this thing. No, he's there. He's running with me. Look how he ate that thing. Nice, girl. Two and a half pounder all day. At least two pounds. Yeah, that's a good one, girl. Good job. Look at how he ate that popper. That is... That blow up is so pretty. <laughs> that's something. That tells us a little something about what's about to go down, boys. We both talked about where we should go, and we're like, let's go out here. Right. Yeah, nice little two pounder. Yay. Good job, girl. Nice. The blow up was so great. Oh. Oh, buddy. There we go. Thank you, sir. We both caught one. It's only been about five, ten minutes. All right, guys. More trap. Oh, look at that dang boil. Sad part is I've been casting down the bank like that. I wasn't going to walk on it. Look, there's another boil. All right, guys. We're going to get a big bite here in a moment. Feel it. Oh my gosh, that bite was insane. Oh, dude, let's get back in there, guys. I missed him completely. I thought he had it. He might bite it again. Yeah. That was an insane bite. Come on, fish. I don't know if he was big or not, but it sure looked like it was big. This corner is about big. Oh, that bash just went all the way in the air, dude. Watch this, watch this. Here we go. It's game over. That bass literally went two foot in the air. Come on. No way you're not going to hit it. He literally just skyrocketed. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I don't know what he was doing. Could have been going after like a dragonfly or some sort of bug. I want him to do that to my bait, man. And then he's just not even gonna look at this thing. Over here, jumping three foot out of the water.
there we go. Very soft bite. Yeah, that one's a small one. Let's get him in real quick. Appreciate the bite though. Yeah, he ain't too small. He ain't small as those ones I was catching all day. Come on, buddy. We want your we want your daddy. We want old big boy. Can you give us a the big boy? Thank you for biting though. You were the softest, quietest bite all day long. I guess that deserves some sort of reward. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> all these other blobs are like freaking intense, man. That one is just a little slurp. Gotta try in this corner again, man, that fish. It looks amazing. There we go. <laughs> I'm back on the small crime. <laughs> what is going on, dude? What is happening? How was our first fish of the day a freaking toad? And now it's just like, oh. Caught more small fish today than I ever have, I swear. Like, I don't think I've ever can recall a day where I've caught this many fish that are like not even a pound. Oh, no. I'll get you all. Oh, God. oh boy. That's the worst way. Fly bait? Fly bait fishing anybody? I think that's, that's what we need to do. I'm just kidding, dude. Calm down. Hey, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Chill. We have to go catch your grandmama, man. Don't be wasting our time now. Well, that's not the ones that I want. In the tone. Oh, there's a big boil. You got one? He's off? How big was he? Oh, you got him. Oh, your line stuck on the bank. It's a bluegill. It's a bluegill. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, I'm pretty sure that was a bluegill that just hit me. <laughs> Those are definitely bluegill here. Like, these gotta be bluegill. <laughs> they have to be bluegill smoking this thing. There we go. I just, just when you think the bass can't get smaller, they get smaller. They get, they just get so freaking small. Small one. Sorry, buddy. Jeez, man. I've never caught so many. At least we're catching them. We're having a good time. Oh my God. Thank you. I was a little hunchback. It looked like your big one today, yeah, but like literally a pound, if that. That was a pretty cool blow up. It's so satisfying, guys, when you hook a fish in like a pipe or something, just the sound of the blow up just echoes. The most satisfying little thing. Oh my gosh, that was a massive blow. See, that was a big one. That's a nice one. There we go. Not a big one by any means, but that's a nice fish for what I've been catching. I will take you. See, not a big one, but pound and a half or pretty fish. Yeah. 